last minute dress because all the colors we had gone for we could not wear. It's an extra small. This one's actually cute. Yeah. Because I think a lot of black dresses is just black or pink. Everything literally is gold and pink. Look at Sandra's Pretty. That's a doña dress. Now we're up here to look for a dress for the two little ones at least. Oh, look at okay, guys, so we are at Windsor now. Um, we are going for blue after all because <laughs> our colors we had picked out were gold this one and looks pink. Perfect and for you, girl. So we can't find another color to go with the theme. So we are going with blue now. That was cute for this me. This is your color. Oh, we're good. No, this one's more like for us. So we stopped by Chipotle. And I will show you guys mine, but I mean, that's the aftermath. We picked up grandma from the doctor. Yeah, guys. So we are now back. Um, we already picked up everyone from school and um, I wanted to show you guys what we ended up going with I'm gonna show you guys the colors. It's fine. You guys will get to see us I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to this blog um, Well, most likely it, it won't go before the quinceanera we're gonna go up before the quinceanera we're gonna go to I'm okay with showing you guys the dresses and you guys will also see us in this blog later on um, Another day the day of actually um, with the dresses on but actually we had an emergency here because I don't I'm not sure if I told you guys the story. We had Aliyah's photo shoot yesterday and all of that. We came home, everything went great. We got that out of the way. Um everything went great. When we got home, sorry. Um we came home to Kimmy's Quince invitation. And turns out that it was a big surprise for us because we already had our dresses guys from months prior and turns out oh, she's probably gonna fit in the other one <laughs> alicia's trying on her dress and i don't, don't think it fit nos cayó como baldazo de agua fría um because we already had our dress up apparel and everything and turns out that the colors we were gonna wear we can't wear those colors because it's the core color or something like that i don't know but we'll find out that day but it says you can't wear it has a special message that you can't wear pink purple or gold and we were gonna wear gold and pink um and i'll show you guys the dresses so you guys won't think that i'm making things up like we've had these dresses i bought them way ahead of time because because i was shopping for alia sweet 16 and we found dresses for Kimmy's um, quince so we bought them way ahead of time and we pick those colors that we can't wear but we didn't know we couldn't wear them because it's literally like a week and a half and I just got the invitation like you know prior a week and a half prior to the event and as we speak right now my dress my gold dress is getting tailored right now and it was actually expensive <laughs> But anyways, and I can't return it because it's getting tailored, but it's okay. I'll just leave it for another occasion. But I'm like, okay, well, everything that's trending, like that's nice at the stores right now at this time is gold and pink because of the Barbie theme. <laughs> I'm like, so I don't know what color to wear. So I they wanted to go with green, but I'm like, you know what? No, that's more for like winter for me, the, the forest green. So we decided to go with teal. Um, LZ, ya le había gustado un vestido, like a baby blue dress type of color. Um, so I'm like, you know what, let's go with baby blue. I haven't worn baby blue, and we don't have any colors of baby blue with the whole family, like a teal blue type of thing. Um, except for LZ 16, obviously her dress was blue, but only hers. So yeah, guys, let me show you guys the dresses we went with. And we got lucky because, um, 
We went to... Um, I'll show you guys Alicia in just a little bit. A ver, mami. Qué bonita. A ver. Okay, that's the dress we found for Alicia, and it was actually meant to be. Things happen for a reason, you know? Um, we got her and Ashley the same exact dress. So I'll show you guys in just a little bit. It was meant to be, guys, because, okay, we went to we Q know, first because they're kind of cheap there. But we couldn't find anything on the color we were looking for. So then we went to Macy's and I couldn't find anything for, well, for us, for Alize and I, and well, like the older ones. So we went to Macy's backstage to the third floor and I was able to find a, a dress for the two little ones, which is Ashlyn and Alicia. So I'm like, you know what, let's just take this color and then we'll go based off these dresses to pick out our dresses. So um, we found the two little ones dresses at Macy's backstage. So we went and bought them first and then we're like, okay, the, the other store we're gonna go to is Windsor. So then we should be able to find something there. And we did guys. So let me show you guys really quick. You guys saw Alicia right here. She looks so pretty. And those were the only two dresses in that little rack. So I'm like, you know what, let's take them and we'll pick our dresses based off of their color. And then here's Ashlyn's, guys. And there was only two, like I said, um, we got a 14 and a 16. And Alicia fit in the 16, which is a little sister. And Ashley's gonna wear the 14, guys. She should be able to fit in this one. And Mama Bear, um, this was an actual expensive dress that was approximately $99, but I got it in cl on clearance for only 20 bucks, guys. So I was able to find Alize in my dress in the clearance rack, which was awesome. That's why I'm saying it's meant to be. It was meant to be. And exa the exact same color as the two little ones. And this one, was, these were $26.00. And this one was $20, and it was a $100 dress, guys. And <clears throat> Alize was originally going to get this one, but it fit her really, really loose because it is a medium. So I'm like, you know what? It might fit me. I tried it on. It ended up fitting me, guys, but the slit's way too high. So I'm just going to have um, my lady that fixes my dress sew up the, the slit a little bit, and then cut it a little bit because it's a little bit long but not too long because it's a medium and this is alizé's dress guys it has a slit as well really really pretty right here and that one was approximately 54 dollars but we got it for 20 bucks so that was good it's simple but elegant with the slit. Like I said, this is mom's. Was supposed to be Alize's, but fit her big and it ended up fitting me. And Aaliyah's dress was not on clearance, guys, but I wanted her to match us. So we got Aaliyah's the same color, but in a short version. So Aaliyah's was, I believe, $36. Um, and this is Aaliyah's dress, guys. So. This is Alicia's and Ashlyn's. You guys saw um, Alicia with the dress on already. This is Aaliyah's and this is Alize's. And this is mine. So I went ahead and called the lady really quickly. And I'm like, hey, I have an emergency. I'm like, before you alter my dress, I'm like, I still want you to alter the other one. But um, instead of altering that one, I have a new one because I'm not gonna wear that color after all. I'm like, would you be able to do the job in one week? It's not a lot. It's a, it's a more simple dress. Um, it's like the, a little bit of the length and just cover up the slit a little bit. And she said, yes, guys. And Alize is only the length. So I'm going to go tomorrow, bring you guys along and um, drop them off to my lady. And she's going to go ahead and take care of us really quick. And then you guys will see us with the dresses on as well. And we'll, we only need daddy, guys, and he's looking up for his vestuario online. Hopefully, it gets here on time. If not, we'll just go shopping for him. And you know guys are easy, I think. Okay, guys. Anyways, Ashlyn's over here. She tried on her dress. She's like super cute. Holly. Super cute, guys. Super cute, baby. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want her to sit down because what if it rips? 
Oh, yeah. It's a little tight on her. I don't know if you could tell on the video. Yeah, I am zipped it already. Because she's like, why do you unzip it, girl? Hands up. Oh. Good morning, guys. So, we are in Arizona. We are in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I will explain to you guys a little bit on what happened. We didn't vlog yesterday at all. Because we came, we left Bakersfield really, really late. Um, Willie slipped in a little bit and we got here until four in the morning. Um, we'll give you guys a little tour of our suite. It's really, really nice. We are about to have breakfast right now. Willie and Alize went to get Red Robin. I want you guys to take a look. Look at Missy. She's having breakfast in bed. She's having a little cereal. You guys know she doesn't eat burgers or anything like that. Um, this is me right here. I'm about to, and she's watching TV, guys. Yeah, now we'll we have the door open. And um, while we have breakfast here in our patio, really, really pretty. I'll give you guys a little tour later. I just wanted you guys to see breakfast really quick. This is mine right here. This wow. You guys know, guys, primero mis dientes y luego mis parientes. I will get back on here in just a little bit. Okay, guys, we arrived to... No, I'm not. To the hall. You got the keys? No. Oh, I didn't. Yeah, we're getting Ashley situated. She messed up all her hair, literally. Yeah, I'll record in there, guys. I have my GoPro here. Oh, oh. De las tiendas zapatillas, fuerte el aplauso del señor Oscar Rodríguez que en ese momento se dispone a colocar una, una zapatilla.
in Scottsdale <laughs> again. Yeah, this is our third day. Um, we already have two nights. The one didn't really count, the first one, because we got here in the morning. Yeah, literally at four in the morning. But anyways, guys, you guys saw a little glimpse of Kimmy's quinceañera. I didn't really get to record too much because the GoPro doesn't really have light. Um, so I kind of, whatever footage you guys saw was, was with the cell phone and a little bit with the camera. But yeah, guys, we are going to spend the day at Walmart by Wyndham. Yeah, guys, so we are going to spend the day, the day at our resort and you guys will get to see that. We are going to enjoy the pool because every time we get to stay somewhere, we never get to enjoy it because we go out somewhere else. This time we want to enjoy our resorts, especially because that's the first time using our timeshare, guys. Um, and we want to enjoy it. So right now we are heading to the store. We are going to get some carne to grill. Um, that's what we want to eat today, guys. We decided to stay today. Um, this is the grill area I was talking about. I still have not you guys a tour of the suite because you guys can hear the sizzling. Ooh, there's four grills here, yeah. guys, and they're like brand new. Como que no hacen carne asada aquí. He's using I'm that one. And there's two more I'm over there. The yeah, the grills are over there somewhere. It's beautiful. Yeah. I like those campanitas, like they look. I mean, campanita, so campanita of flowers. They look really nice. Oh yeah. The girls over there swimming. Yeah, the girls are already over there swimming. I'll go ahead and record and then just do like a voiceover or something so you guys could see what they're doing and then give you guys a tour before we leave when the room's clean because it's already like not, I'm not saying not clean but it already has all the stuff so you guys could see like all the space the room and all of that mm -hmm. okay. wow look at that and this is enough for us okay and usually usually when you guys see me grill it's a lot more than this but this is enough for us looks good and juicy la cebollita didn't get no nopales because uh, didn't have none so, oh yeah alberson didn't have any yeah i'm gonna have to tell alberson hey so no nopales bro <laughs> i'm here <laughs> I'll <laughs> Can't go over there. Ah, she's trying to go to the deep side. <laughs> no, no deep side, she girl. And she's like, oh no, I can't do that. <laughs> hey, girl. Right here, okay? Say hi to friends. Okay, guys, so we got out of the pool really quick to have dinner. We can't have dinner in the pool area. Um, so we are very close to the pool. The pool's right there, guys, literally. And this is our room right here, our suite. Um, and this is our master bedroom. So we have access to a little patio. Sit down right here, Mama. Sit down right here. Can I have her sit down and please? Sit down. So, um, we're gonna go ahead and we, are, we bought this at Albertsons, guys, earlier today. And Daddy cooked out for us at the grill, so you guys saw that earlier. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and serve everybody and go from there. Okay, guys, so I already served salad to everyone. We have potato and macaroni salad. Ashlyn's into it with the cebolla, and she had a tortilla earlier. And she's gonna have some carnita right now. Um, we have weenies and carne asada. And you guys know when it comes to 
food. Primero mis dientes, luego mis parientes. And we also got some salsa, guys. And some guacamole. Right here. It's bomb, guys. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Really bomb. Behind the scenes, guys. Ate and came back out here to the pool. Good morning, guys. Welcome to a brand new day. So, today is our last day in Scottsdale, Arizona. Um, I never showed you guys the tour of our suite. Um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but we are owners now. Um, we have a time share we purchased um, back in, when, I think the last time we went to San Francisco, that's when we purchased it. I don't think I ever announced it, but this is our very first time using our time share, guys. And we had a great experience. Definitely is way different than the regular hotel. Um, you know, you get special treatment and all of that, but let me show you guys the master. We got a one bedroom suite and again, we only got, you know, this is our first time we can get up to three bedrooms, I believe, or whatever we want, but just to try it out and stuff like that, we got the one bedroom suite for today. Um, I think the girls did blog a little bit about it. I'm going to show you guys from the room over there. It was supposed to be from the entrance here, but it's not nice. And well, I was gonna say nice and clean how, how it was when we came in, but Willie's the one that came in first, so I didn't, I forgot to blog to be honest. But let me show you guys um, the room. It has a, it's high ceiling, and it has, uh, we're gonna get the dresses, that's all we need from here. It has, um, you guys could see, a big, big closet, spacious. It's really long, guys, and it's really, really spacious. Look at how long it is. Really, really long and spacious. Um, so this is a master bedroom. Comes with the TV, cabinets, a little sofa. And this is our little porch. You guys saw that. We did enjoy it yesterday. You guys probably seen it in the vlog. And then the pool is right over there. So that was really nice. Okay, so moving forward, we have a long hallway, guys. It's like an apartment, to be honest. This is a restroom. We're trying to get all the garbages out of the trash can. Um, we have two showers. I just hung everything up because we're going to leave already. We're about to check out. Um, it has a big vanity here. The sink. And then we had our essentials there, like our toothbrushes and stuff. We have a second shower right here. The restaurant's pretty big, guys. And then the hallway continues. And this is the living room. When you walk in, obviously, but I'm doing it backwards. It has a TV. It has a little mesita in the middle. It was supposed to be in the middle. And then we have a little dining table here. And we have like a full-on kitchen here. Um, I didn't even know I had a stove because I didn't see a stove until I got close. I'll show you guys right now. It has a refrigerator just like any other hotel. Microwave. It has a cafetera to do the coffee. Dust sink to wash dishes. And it comes with like the scrubber. Um, the little mini soap. And this is a stove, guys. It's like built in. It's super cute. And best of all, guys, it comes with dishes. I didn't even know that. Honestly, I didn't even read up on it because it was a last minute booking. Um, but yeah, guys, let me show you guys what's in the cabinets. Um, it comes with bowls, plates, right there. And then over here, it comes with moldes if you want a barbecue. And then over here, it has copas, cups, and everything, guys. I love this, and we brought our own stuff anyway. And then right here, I love it because it comes with um, everything to flip the carne asada. You guys saw the girls outside yesterday. And, it, and here it has spoons. And then I did wash all the dishes. I already put them away, guys. 
Just so I won't, we won't leave a mess. We don't like to leave a mess. We have the garbage over here aside. We pulled it out of there. And we're just getting situated, guys, to leave. Um, they're already putting stuff in the car. Willie checks Manny um, to see. And we're going to try to stop by Mimi Mesa's house right before we leave. We couldn't stop by yesterday for the recalentado, guys. Um, because um, the girls were in the pool. We were there all day. And then we barbecued. And we already had some drinks. So we just stayed and enjoyed the resort. But I'm like, you know what? We should stop by before we head back home. Um, he just texted him right now. Hopefully he answers. We're going to go have breakfast right um, when we leave the resort. Um, we're going to go have breakfast first. Um, hopefully they answer by then because we don't want to show up without anunciándonos. Um, if we do stop by, you guys will get to see it in this vlog, guys. Um, we'll see you guys in a little bit because they're all waiting for me already. Like. Hey, guys. So we are here at Chili's having breakfast. I'll show you guys in just a little bit what we end up getting. The food is here. Daddy got fajitas. I got pasta. Okay, guys. I actually got the food. So I'm making cheese and corn. Mmm. That's ashes and nuts. Mmm. This is my plate. Alright, guys. You guys saw we already had breakfast slash lunch brunch um we were waiting for mimi and manny to get back to us um i know que están estado desvelando and stuff so we understand you know um they probably woke up later because they went asleep later and so um they just responded earlier that they just woke up so it's understandable guys and you know i bet especially if they're the host mm. super busy así vamos a andar nosotros en un mes en el día 16 hopefully this video goes up before then guys but um we stopped by the gas station really quick after brunch we had brunch at chili's guys you guys saw that and yeah we are heading home by the way we will get to see like the you know outs of arizona because when we got here it was four in the morning so everything was dark we didn't really get to see and yeah we didn't see much because it was pretty dark and then everybody was tired and stuff like that but today we're at least able to see some stuff it's beautiful we really like it it's our very first time ever coming to arizona guys now um, willie has came to arizona but just to the airport due to work yeah um, but us, I ha I personally never been to Arizona before. We really liked it. It's really, really nice. We did stay at Scott's World Marks Scottsdale, Arizona, and the event we came to was for Kimmy's. I keep saying Sweet Sixteen because that's what Aliyah is having. Kimmy's quinceañera, Mimi Mesa's daughter. So her event was in Phoenix, Arizona. So we saw both cities or towns and is it a city or town honey what um phoenix and scottsdale uh, is that like city a city and scottsdale is just like uh the, an area in, in phoenix arizona but yeah it's like it's really nice scottsdale is really nice yeah it's really really nice guys um and there's a lot to do we just found a crazy spot we could have gone to it with it's a great yes. lodge yeah we just were like right street, next to much. it literally and we didn't even know but we that, gives, gone. that gives us like not hope but gives us plans to come back again mm -hmm. i mean and to go there so that's most definitely in the future most definitely guys yeah so um i just responded to mimi um you know we didn't get to see them again um like i said it's understandable that we know they're busy and stuff like that but we got to go to their event it was really nice we had a lot of fun guys we danced the night away and yeah hopefully they go to ours um which is going to be in one month from now and we will keep you guys updated and all that and hopefully we get to see them again when they come to ours because they are invited so yeah guys um we are heading back it looks like if we don't have traffic um i will be vlogging the way over there and get back on here um if we make another stop or whatever the case is to let you guys know the way and you know how we're doing and stuff like that because it is a long drive i did not realize how far arizona was oh, uh, for far. whatever type of reason como yo no manejo hasta acá like ni me fijé like oh how long is it 
I was literally thinking like four or five hours max. I don't know why, but Willie's are like, no, do you realize it's like seven hours? But on the way over here, we did like eight hours because and there was a point, like uh, there was a, um, two areas were like there was like two areas where the traffic was completely stopped, guys, like literally. So we did like eight hours and we, we were supposed to get to, to our resort about like at 1 a.m. And we ended up getting there like at 4 a.m. It was really bad. And then the next day was the event, which was pretty cool. But since we slept in and we were just roaming around, like, because we were all tired, we ended up going to the Quince super duper late. And, you know, no alcanzamos, no alcanzamos cena porque llegamos bien tarde, which is understandable porque la cena es de una hora, de tal hora a tal hora, and we got there after hours. Lo bueno que comimos bien en la mañana, ¿verdad? Yeah. Yeah, so that was good. Yeah, we read Robin in the morning. You guys also saw that previously in this vlog. So, so yeah, guys, um, I'm gonna go ahead and um, get back on here when we are más para allá. Update: um, We are like you could say halfway, right? Yes. Cause it's like seven hours. Well, if you're thinking about from where we came from, we're way more than halfway now. Yeah, we're more than yeah, more than halfway. So we are at the Morongo. This is very familiar, guys, because every time we used to go to Mexicali, we always used to stop by here at Morongo. And the paso íbamos a las outlets de aquí, the Cabazon. It's the, it's the so, yeah, it's the casino resort and spa right here, guys. Morongo. This looks so familiar. Yeah. So we're gonna. St this is our second stop, guys. Um. We did stop really quick to the restroom after having brunch, um, and we were on the road for about three hours, four max. And we are going to pump gas right now, so to avoid the traffic, er the traffic in the LA area and stuff like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and take advantage and pump gas here, so we won't have to stop in LA. And what if we get traffic or whatever the case is, guys? But yeah, this looks pretty good we still have like oh less than half a tank yeah we have less than half a tank guys everybody's doing good back there la ash la bien desgreñada she's been chewing up her hair like no tomorrow mira bien desgreñada ya yeah and everyone doing good back there alicia wants to go pee so we are going to check ashley's diaper really quick and whoever needs to go to to the restroom we're gonna do that right here go and go tower. from there all right guys it is many hours later we made it home safe um we dropped off the things and the girls and everything and mr g and i are going to get some we were thinking he wanted pupusas but it's kind of far from the house it's across town and we're like tired well he's tired of driving but tired of being in the car obviously because Arizona's way, way, like, it's really far, guys. It's really far. Um, we used to always travel. When we used to live up north, we used to travel to Mexicali, and it was eight hours. But then, since we live in Bakersfield now, it's only five hours for us, or four, I believe. I don't know. And then Vegas is, like, five hours as well. LA's two hours. But we haven't traveled seven or eight hours straight anymore in a while yeah. even san francisco's five hours from us yeah, right yeah. yeah so it's not bad. so it's not too bad but we haven't been you know on a trip this long but you know what we really liked it you know a whole different environment you know we had a little some experiences here and there oh yeah yeah, yeah after the party we were literally hungry because we didn't go have dinner on time and I I get it it's understandable because dinner is from a certain time to a certain time and we got there later so we were dying of hunger and nothing was open literally nothing and I was like what the heck so we had leftover fries from like the morning that day and that's what we ate and then we made ourselves some quesadillas huh yeah but yeah but it was like it was weird because we're used to like anywhere you go here in town like you get tacos or whatever the case is or maybe because we don't know arizona we don't know where the you know where the tacos are at so, and you know all yeah, the stands. So, then I went, so when we found this taco place i forgot what it was called and then the menu says all type of meats right so i said oh give us 
I'm ten uh, pastor tacos. Oh, we got it's shredded beef. I'm like, what? Never mind. We I'm just like, That's all you got? I'm like, the hell with that? Then I said, okay, what's open? Always that has food all the way to morning. Jack in a crack, jack in a box. We go, mm -hmm. we waited in line oh, yeah. just to get to order food. And I mean, we're waiting in line for half an hour almost. Just to, for them to tell us, oh, we're just doing takeout. I'm like, what? Yeah. You get you, that's all you do? Mm -hmm. They're like, yeah. I'm like, what? I'm like, I don't know if it's a, well, the Jack Uber in the Box thing. Something. Uber or something. Uber Eats. If it's an Arizona thing, but it's cool. I guess that's what they do, but. But man. we're not familiar, so we didn't know. So we were literally there, literally in line for like 30 minutes. And I was literally peeing. She stopped by a gas station. I'm like, okay, well, Jack in the Box is really quick. Yeah, right. We were there stuck in line. So literally I had to pee in a diaper because I couldn't. Dude, my bladder was like full blown because I had a few drinks, you know? So anyways, guys, um, but overall it was good, you know, new environment, new everything. So yeah, we really liked it. The scenery, it's nice. Yeah. Um, so yeah, right now we just got home. Um, after a while, I thought we weren't gonna be hungry, but we are. It's approximately 7.23 p.m., guys. Um, like I said, we dropped off the girls and we brought all the things down and we are going to get some tacos. We really wanted some pupusas, but it's across town, so we don't want to drive anymore or be in the car any yeah, longer. They're, they're so closer, but uh, yeah, it's just too good over there, you know what I mean? Yeah, so we're just gonna go ahead and get tacos, and um, if I don't show you guys, um, this will be the end of the vlog. I hope you guys really like the whole experience of our trip, and you know, we are new owners of our timeshare, and we have been for a few months now, but I haven't announced it, yeah. but we got to use our timeshare yes. for the very first time and, in Arizona, and in the Scottsdale. First, one of the most exciting thing is when you go to those places, you talk to other people that have had timeshare for like so long, they'll give you information what you should do and what you shouldn't do or where to go and how to get hooked up so i got a lot of information off of off of the people that have been having timeshare for yes. a while so i'm really excited for upcoming trips i tell you that right now yes guys as you guys heard so um it was our very first time our very first time using the timeshare so you know very good you, we get all the good deals and it's a different experience of going to like regular hotels um we actually get re go, oh, get to spot. go to resorts and stuff like that you show them the spot is there anybody ever in bakersfield yeah let me show you guys um, panama and gosford this is panama and gosford here in bakersfield guys y se ponen muchos puestitos like the tacos pupusas oh they might have pupusas there too yeah they do well, and I don't know. I don't all see kinds the of oh, yeah, they do. It's right like there. foods like desserts and stuff like that maybe churros i don't know yeah so that's the spot right there guys panama and gosford if you guys are from bakersfield that's the spot right and there ain't nothing they're usually a lot more than that yeah i think it's the weather oh yeah. they fenced it up that's why they were here oh <laughs> yeah yeah guys look cool wow yeah guys so he's gonna get off really quick and order some tacos we're and getting off i need help to get all everything else okay guys so we are now home let me show you guys what we ended up getting mija regla el pelo a la ashley anda bien mira Look at her hair, guys. She pulls it all out just to bite it. Literally. She, she heard food and she popped right out of the room. So we got three sopes, like six tacos. What's that, honey? Uh, churro funnel cake. Churro funnel cake. And then we got two burros. And we're all gonna like get, you know, half a burrito, a sope, and a taco. So anyways, we just wanted to try new things, guys. Yeah. Yeah, and we're kind of like, we're not that hungry because we ate good this morning. And it was like really, it was kind of late. So it was like brunch. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close out the vlog because I know it's already been, it's already, I haven't even looked at the footage, but I know it's going to be a long video. Um, And I didn't even get to show you guys the dresses. Oh, you know what? Let's say we should pull up. I'll show you guys in another video. The dresses we had, no, es para que miren que ya teníamos los vestidos, that we had to go dress shopping as an emergency because we already had our wardrobe for that day but um it worked out perfect so anyways guys um make sure you give this video a big thumbs up turn on your bell notification and we will be back with more videos 
Thanks so much for watching and supporting all of us if you already are. If not, go ahead and check the description below. All the links to the girls and everyone are in the description below and social medias. Say bye, girls. Bye. bye.